Behind the combination of the blue sea and green trees, which is the main attraction, there is a small, stunning land. This place is Nukumonu, a settlement located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. However, behind its charming beauty, there is a big threat that always lurks. Nukunonu, formerly known as Duke of Clarence, is a village located on a remote island in the South Pacific Ocean. This island is not large, only around 4.7 square kilometers, smaller than the ankle area in Jakarta, which reaches 5.77 square kilometers. Nukunonu is included in the Atoll or Ring Island category, where the population concentration is only in one point, namely in Nukunonu Village. The rest of the land is uninhabited, filled with white sand, dense forests, and thriving coconut groves. Administratively, Nukunonu is a territory under the authority of New Zealand. Most of the land is only a few meters above sea level, making it highly vulnerable to rising sea levels due to global warming. There is no airport on this small island. The only way to reach it is by boat. Historically, Nukunonu was previously under the authority of Western Samoa before New Zealand was granted jurisdiction over it in 1925. In 1948, Legislation was passed to provide for the management of Nukunonu under New Zealand authority. Currently, Nukunonu is inhabited by around 531 people who live in houses built with financial assistance from New Zealand. The village is led by a tuliga or council of elders consisting of the head of the family group and two elected members. The population is mostly Polynesians who are culturally and linguistically related to Samoa. Apart from that, they also raise pigs and chickens and catch fish and crustaceans for daily consumption. Coconuts are the most important cash crop here, used to make copra, which is the dried pulp of coconuts. Nukunonu relies heavily on New Zealand for food, building materials, and fuel. Fresh water is rare here, so local residents collect rainwater for daily use by installing storage tanks in every house. Rainfall is quite high here, especially during the trade wind season from April to November. Nukunonu, there are two small islands used as cemeteries and one small island for pig farming, where people take boats every day to feed their pigs. Other small islands are used as vegetable gardens or picnic spots. Even though it is remote, Nukunonu has several important facilities such as hospitals, schools and internet services. Apart from that, this place also has independent electricity facilities supported by solar power plants a project funded by New Zealand. Located in the middle of the ocean with white sand and blue seawater, Nukunonu might be one of the interesting places for a vacation. However, its difficult to access location means only a few tourists visit this place. In addition, Nukunonu tourism is not widely promoted, so not many people know about the existence of this place. In short, Nukunonu is an extraordinary little settlement in the middle of the blue ocean. However, Nukunonu also faces various challenges. Its geographic isolation means access to health, education, and economic services is limited. Climate change and rising sea levels also pose serious threats to the village's future. If world climate conditions continue to worsen, 
It is not impossible that this beautiful place will be washed away by ocean water, erasing all the stories that have been engraved on it. Thank you for watching this video until the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, so that we can get to know the world with just the touch of a finger. Happy activities and always be healthy. Bay.